Fried zucchini pasta called spaghetti alla nerano. Pasta alla nerano, it's a dish I actually didn't know. I didn't grow up with this. One year ago, it went popular all over the world. This is the authentic version. Let's make it together. <laughs> this is super creamy. Super, super, super creamy. Yay! Mmm. 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 Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to cook Italian food. Fried zucchini pasta, called spaghetti alla nerano. Pasta alla nerano, it's a dish I actually didn't know. I didn't grow up with this. One year ago, it went popular all over the world. And I said to my mom, can you please find me the recipe? Now, my mom is the kind of person that can find anything for you. She has the connections, she knows people. So she asked a friend of a friend in a town near Nerano and gave me this recipe for you. Super creamy, they don't use butter. They don't. I've seen so many people using butter on YouTube. That's wrong. This is the authentic version. Let's make it together. The ingredients to make pasta alla nerano are top quality zucchini, okay? So I am making 300 grams of pasta, 150 grams per person. 300 grams of spaghetti means we need 600 grams of zucchini. If you're using 400 grams of spaghetti, you need to use 800 grams of zucchini. Then we need a lot of basil. Be generous with the basil, don't count. As much as you want. Garlic, one garlic clove. Three tablespoons of pecorino cheese, or you can use parmigiano. And 150 grams of provolone cheese. Extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. To make pasta la nerano, you do need lots of oil. So I've got three liters extra virgin olive oil over here, okay? You wanna save money, you can use sunflower oil, but let me tell you, the extra virgin olive oil takes it to the next level, okay? Now, we need extra virgin olive oil into two steps. Frying the zucchini and then cooking, mixing the pasta in the extra virgin olive oil. Now, you need to follow these steps. It's very important that you cut the zucchini like this okay the zucchini they're not too big you don't want to get the large ones you want to get small ones and then we cut into discs you get zucchini discs okay this is the size of zucchini that you want for pasta alla nerano it might seem like it's a lot but let me tell you it's not a lot when you actually mix this with the pasta the zucchini will shrink when you are going to fry them. Now it's so important guys that you cut the zucchini to be thin like this, so it cooks faster. If you make it thicker like this, it's gonna take longer, okay? We want the zucchini to be crispy, we want the zucchini to be, you know, very nice and thin. So take your time when you cut, just like this. That's what you want to achieve, okay? Now here I have the oil and we need to make sure it's hot enough for us to cook the zucchini. So what I do is I get a piece of zucchini here, I put it inside and it's frying. So which means we are ready to fry a zucchini, okay? We're gonna do a little bit at a time. Don't put all of them at the same time, otherwise the oil will get cold and doesn't do the job. Now, we're going to fry the zucchini and we fry them until they become nice and dark, you know? We want them to become golden brown. It's very important, guys, that you, you stay next to it and stir, you know, move it around. You don't want them to get stuck to the bottom. There are people telling you, oh, no, you don't fry with extra virgin olive oil. It's not good for high temperatures. Let me tell you, you can reach 180, 190 Celsius. What you're not meant to do with the extra virgin olive oil is to reuse it, okay? You know, with sunflower oil, you can reuse. With extra virgin olive oil, you do not reuse. But yes, you can fry. Now, the frying process, it will take about five to seven minutes. This depends on how thick you cut the zucchini, okay? The thinner they are, the faster they cook, okay? But I would say roughly, you need to do this for five minutes and keep moving them around so they cook properly everywhere. Oh, 
Okay, so our zucchini almost ready. What we're gonna do now, we are gonna put some basil here, okay? On top of paper towel, we're gonna put basil because now I'm gonna put the zucchini in there so they can actually make love together and bring the flavors to the next level. Guys, look how perfectly they cooked, okay? Look at this, this is what you want. You want them to be perfectly cooked, golden brown. Some of them are brown, some of them are golden brown. Now what we do is we put the zucchini in here with the basil. And like I said, the basil and the zucchini, they love to make love with each other. It is very important that you do this frying part properly. Now we let them rest. Yeah. The more you leave the zucchini in there with the basil, and the more flavors you will get. And in fact, I am getting a beautiful, beautiful flavor into my nose. Uh, incredible, you know? I have an explosion of aromas into my nose, and I do have a big nose. So you can imagine how big this explosion is. <laughs> now, we covered this. With the paper, we're gonna put more basil for the next batch, okay? And we cook the next batch of zucchini. Now the zucchini are ready, we need to boil the pasta. So get a large pot with water, get one tablespoon of rock salt and put it inside. And let's cook the pasta. Now this spaghetti will take 11 minutes to cook and I'm counting 11 minutes from now. Always push the pasta down when you cook the pasta. See you in 11 minutes. Now the pasta is cooking. In the meantime, let's cut up provolone, okay? 150 grams of provolone that we want to grate, okay? Great, 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 because this is the final touch for our pasta. This is the only shredded cheese that allow you to eat. <laughs> now we've got this part left. I'm not gonna cut my fingers. You know what I do with this? Mmm, mmm, yum! Look at that, a mountain of provolone cheese. All right, the second batch is done. Beautiful and crispy. Let's put it together with the basil. Now, guys, we are ready to boil the spaghetti. Ah, these zucchini are ready to be eaten. All right, guys, our pasta is almost ready. So what we need to do now is we get extra virgin olive oil, about three, four tablespoons. Be generous. You know, this dish is come from Campania, near Naples. Extra virgin olive oil is so important. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna break the garlic here to get the flavors out and we put it in there, okay? For a couple of minutes. When the pasta is ready, we're gonna put the pasta in there and mix all the ingredients together. I did this because by breaking the garlic, you're gonna release all the beautiful flavors from the garlic inside the oil, okay? That's what we're gonna do, okay? That's what I want to achieve. The pasta will be ready in one minute and a half. These need to revive. They've been making love with the basil for too long. They need to bring the energy back, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a zucchini and basil in the pan, here we go, and stir, okay? We want them to be back to life. The basil will give the flavor to the oil. Ah, oh, the garlic is still in there, giving the flavor to a beautiful sauce, because this is our sauce. There's nothing else in this pasta, it's this. And the cheese, of course. Okay, now let's take the pasta out and put it in this sauce. All right, guys, our pasta is ready. So before we get the pasta out, let's get a mug of pasta water. This is full of starch. Look at the color of that water. Full of starch, which it will help to combine the ingredients with the pasta. And this is how I like to collect my pasta, guys. It's only 300 grams, it's not much. Ah, spaghetti, yum, yum. All right, let's combine the ingredients. Now, before we put the pasta in, we're gonna remove the garlic. We don't want to eat this garlic. And we put the pasta in. Hello, spaghetti. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's be generous with the amount of pasta water. And stir. Stir our ingredients here. We want all the starch from the water to combine the ingredients. And the water will actually reactivate this beautiful zucchini. Okay, look at that. 
Look at this. Oh, look at this beautiful pasta. I told you the zucchini were not too much. You thought the pasta was not enough for the zucchini, but look, the zucchini shrunk. We don't have much in there. Look at that basil. Look at this beautiful basil. The basil is going to be such an important ingredient for this. You will really smell it. So the fire, this is still on. We got 30 more seconds. See this beautiful pasta water at the bottom? You will see that will disappear. Now, the saucepan is off the stove. We're gonna put the pecorino cheese, three tablespoons of pecorino cheese, okay? Put extra basil, fresh basil. Uh, we are going to mantecare, okay? We're going to make the pasta jump. So this is the first step with the cheese, with the pecorino, okay? This is what we do. Now, our pasta, because of the pecorino, now our pasta is nice and creamy. Can you see how creamy it is? It's beautiful, right? And now this is the most important part of the dish. Now, a little bit more water, a little bit more. We got the provolone over here, okay? Put the provolone everywhere. This is gonna make it super, super creamy, okay? Look at this, look how creamy this is gonna be. Look at that, look at that, look at this, look at this. Look at that beautiful cream, look at this provolone disappearing into the pasta. Huh? Look at that. Look how creamy this is. You want to make it a little bit creamier, just in case you don't want the cheese to get stuck or to become stringy. You put more pasta water in there, off the stove, of course. You stir, stir fast, fast, fast. You stir, and here you have it. Your beautiful pasta ramerano. Oh, and look at this, here we have it. Super creamy pasta al nerano, look at that. Super, super, super creamy. Mmm, it's time to serve. Oh, oh, look at this beautiful dish. Pasta al nerano, fried zucchini pasta, made just for you, with love. What's very important now is for us to actually get the cream, the beautiful cream that we want to put on top of the pasta, okay? That cream is gold, okay? It's gold. And here we have it. Pasta Lanerano, made with love for you. Enjoy it. Guys, this is the best part of the video recipe, eating time. <laughs> Let's have this beautiful, cheesy, creamy pasta. Ah, oh. oh, beautiful flavors. Mm. 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 The zucchini, they're not crunchy, they're soft, but they're full of flavors. And that basil, <laughs> mm. I don't know why. I didn't grow up eating this. Such a beautiful, easy pasta to make. What are you waiting for? Time for you to make it. Yay! Mm. 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 Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for asking for this recipe. Oh. Mm.